Uh, November 15th, Busted's going to be returning to Highland Park uh, at the home of the Chicken Boy, future studio gallery on Figueroa in 55th. Uh, this is the crosswalk, uh, half a block down from there. This very same crosswalk, uh, the night before our last show there, a woman was hit by a car in the crosswalk, dragged several feet. Uh, the man got out of the car, took off his license plate, and drove away. A couple days later, the woman died. Uh, there are so many accidents that happen in crosswalks in Northeast LA, West Hollywood, all over this city. And the city has taken the approach of going after the low-hanging fruit to solve the problem. They jaywalking tickets, uh, $250 a pop. It's very easy to catch somebody, you know, when they're stepping in the street, you know, when they're on foot. But, you know, when you expect people to be in the crosswalk within a 10-second window, you have to protect the right for the pedestrian to safely cross in that crosswalk. Otherwise, that person should have the right to cross wherever they're able to. And in this city, they are not doing that. They're going after the pedestrians as a way of solving this uh, epidemic in the city where hundreds of people are getting hit every year. Uh, I'm not a math major, I was a lit major, but here are some stats, and I'm just gonna give simple numbers. 2013, in the Central Division of Los Angeles, 31,000 jaywalking tickets were issued. 31,000 tickets. I'm gonna go Chris Rock here. 31! thousand tickets that's seven and a half million dollars at two hundred and fifty dollars a pop how many uh, failure to yield to a pedestrian tickets were given in that time don't know those stats aren't made available but I'm damn sure it wasn't 31,000 times in fact I'm sure it probably wasn't even half that many times I'd be surprised if it was even 3,000 times and we will follow up with those numbers here at busted but in the meanwhile, I can give you these numbers. In an accident where a pedestrian and a vehicle collide, 100% of the time, the pedestrian gets hurt. 0% of the time, the, the person behind the, the wheel of the car gets hurt. That's a fact. 100%, 0%. 31,000 jaywalking tickets. One in five of these pedestrian vehicle accidents are a hit and run just like that accident right in this very same crosswalk. Here's some other numbers for you. In West Hollywood, uh, in uh, the years of 2011 to 2015, there were 84 pedestrian vehicle collisions. And just uh, last month in West Hollywood, they did a sting where they were uh, ticketing cars through crosswalks with the pedestrian in it. They issued 81 citations in a a small little sting in a tiny little attempt, a little you know, half day blip, they got 81 people. Yet they're still going after the pedestrians. What's my solution? How can we solve this problem that the city hasn't been able to solve by issuing jaywalking tickets? I throw a challenge down for the city. Let's go with a quota, 20,000 failure to yield citations in 2015. If you can do 31,000 tickets to jaywalkers, you can easily do two-thirds of that to the cars that fail to yield in a crosswalk. Not only do I get uh, cars running through crosswalks while I'm in it every day, it happens to me virtually every hour. That's how epidemic the problem is in this city. If you put your mind to it and your officers to it, we can easily get 20,000 failure to yield citations in 2015 at $500 an offense and $1,000 for a second offense, the city will raise a minimum of $10 million that will pay for those officers who we put to enforce those crosswalk uh, you know, uh, failure to yields, and we can put the rest of that money towards speed bumps. The old approach is not working. Repeating a failed method is textbook insanity. Find the drivers, not the pedestrians, and that will reduce pedestrian vehicle collisions. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? What do you think should be done? Write us at bustedlosangeles at gmail.com, and I'll read your messages on the web. Thank you. The